Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. You already know what we're gonna make so come on let me show you how we're gonna do it. All right, let me show you what I'm gonna be using today. I have here two cups of cornmeal and this is the cornmeal that I'm using because this is the one that my mom uses and that I'm used to to get it at Tropical Market. I'm also going to be using two cups of pumpkin. I didn't have pumpkin, so this is actually butternut squash that I cut up and blended with a small amount of water. Um, and I'm using an unconventional thing here. This is two ears of corn that I cut off of the cob and added a little water to it and blended it up because I kind of wanted a nice, fresh, authentic taste to this. Also, in here, I've got two dried coconuts. And for the folks that who don't, who don't know what that kind of looks like, this is sort of what it looks like. You get it in your grocery store. So you crack it open, you open it up, and on the inside, there'll be the dried coconut. You scoop it out with a butter knife or something, blend it up, and this is how you get coconut milk. Now, traditionally, the entire dried coconut is used, but a certain somebody, I'm not naming any names, has an issue with textures. So what I did was I blended these up using a little water and squeezed all of the kind of husk or dry material out and so we just left with the milk. So um, for all intents and purposes, this is sort of the same thing you would get in the can if you bought uh, canned coconut milk. All right, so also what I'm gonna be using, I have one stick of cinnamon. I grated half of a fresh nutmeg. I have four cloves here and three bay leaves. And like I mentioned before when I was making the black cake, these came from my mom's tree. Uh, I toasted all of these, threw them in my spice blender. And I used a sieve and um, strained it off so that all the big particles are gone. And this is what we have left. I'm also going to add some vanilla. Uh, almond extract. I'm going to use a little bit of cardamom extract, Angostura bitters, a little ginger powder, some just a small amount of salt, some black pepper. And let me show you over here what I have. So these are banana leaves and you can get them at the tropical market. Sometimes actually um, mainstream groceries start carrying them around Christmas time because lots of folks use them. You get them, you wash them off, and you want to turn your stove on and just pass them over the stove because that makes it pliable. Otherwise, if you try to fold your stuff in here without toasting it, it's going to break and all your stuff is going to leak out. And then I have my pot here that we're going to be putting or uh, pay me or conkies in. All right, let me get to mixing. I think I forgot to say two cups of uh, brown sugar okay so first I'm gonna dump in all of my wet ingredients there goes my corn and I add in my pumpkin or squash get all of that in there I'm gonna go in I'm actually gonna add my sugar in now two cups we may need more but what we can do is taste it Add in my spices and let's go in with these um, I'm gonna say about a half a teaspoon of Angostura bitters just about a quarter of a teaspoon of my cardamom extract here about half of a teaspoon of almond extract Man, this thing smells like, whew, wonderful. One tablespoon of vanilla. And we're going with powdered um, ginger. And what I'm gonna do is add in about quarter of a teaspoon. All right, let me get this combined nicely. Make sure you can see that. And you can always add more sugar also if you like it, if you like it more sweet. 
All right, that's nicely combined. Now I'm gonna add about a half of a teaspoon of salt. And about three quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm gonna go in now with my um, cornmeal. Let me go in with my coconut milk. Let me get the top layer off first because that's mostly where the flavor is. And we're gonna keep mixing minutes and I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. All right, so this didn't take thick enough as um, much as I thought it would. So what I'm gonna do is add a little more cornmeal. Also, what I forgot to add earlier is one stick of butter. I have a stick of melted butter here. And because I'm gonna be adding more um, cornmeal, I'm gonna add another three, I see what is another half a cup of sugar actually. All right. So that's two and a half cups of sugar. And then we'll be adding, I'm gonna say another cup of uh, cornmeal. To sit and reabsorb the fluid that we added. And you could have a look at the texture. Okay, so now you just want to make like a little parcel. You fold it like that. Then you fold the ends in like this. And then you fold this one this way. Basically, that's it. It's simple. Look at that. And then now what you do is, I got some butcher's string here. And... Tie it like that, turn it over, and tie it like this, and I like to make a little bow just to make it easy for folks to get it undone, but basically that's it. Okay, here we have a little parcel. So what I'll do is continue making those and then move on to the ones with the raisins and get them all set up and I'll show you what's next. All right, so I've done about half a pot, and I have a tamale pot, but or a pastel pot, but it's huge, and I don't have that many today. So what I did was I kind of created a bed for them. I put some liquid, some uh, water in my pot here, and then I just crumbled up some foil and made a bed because I don't want my my pastel or my conkies to be swimming in that liquid because in here, and sometimes no matter how great of a job you do, sometimes some of them pop. All the more reason why I don't want them swimming in the water. So what I'm going to do is take leftover leaf and I'm going to cover these over here with the leaf because I need to be able to differentiate which ones have raisin and which ones don't. If you have another way, sometimes I, I wrap them in foil. Oh, that's another thing. If you don't have banana leaf, you can use foil to make these parcels, but you know, the leaf gives it a special flavor. That you're gonna lose if you use foil sometimes if I don't have a lot of leaves I just use one little piece like this and I put it inside of a foil put my stuff wrap it up in the foil just for the taste but all right so our pay me has been going now for about an hour I just want to make sure that it will cook properly and um, ooh, ooh, that smells so good Okay, I'm gonna uh, cut one open and let you see what it looks like, but I remember our ancestors always telling us if you eat this thing while it's hot, you're gonna get a stomach ache and you're gonna get diarrhea. Neither of those things I want tonight. I'm not, you know, planning to test. Open it. And let you see this. Ooh, look at this. So I hope you guys try this recipe. I think if you do, you're going to absolutely love it. It reminds me of childhood times and 
It smells great and I know it's going to taste great. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and I sincerely appreciate you uh, supporting me and coming back every time when I promise to make another delicious recipe. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.